Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to a video on Windows 10 for phones. In this video I'll show you using Windows 10 for phones with only a mouse and keyboard. Uh, in this uh, Microsoft has made uh, great uh, advances for making uh, Windows 10 for phones usable with mouse and a keyboard. Now in this, this is a this is an unfinished pre-release build and many things do not work. But as you can see on the screen I have a white mouse cursor. This is actually for the first time Windows Phone now supports a mouse pointer. Um, also you could now also uh, navigate the start screen using your keyboard's arrow keys. Now, as you could see, as I, I don't know if you could see this, but as I press the arrow keys on my keyboard, you see a murky selection, mur murky selection uh, on the tiles, and I could use the arrow keys to scroll up and down. So let me open uh, the settings app, which is a universal app. Universal apps are designed to run on PCs, tablets, phones, Xbox, and all other Windows 10 devices. Now, as you can see, as I move my mouse around, you'll see a scroll bar on the right. Windows Phone detects that I have a mouse connected and will offer me a scroll bar uh, env uh, environment or scroll bar feature that is very similar to the one in the PC. I could drag the scroll bar to move up and down, or I could press the scroll up and scroll up and scroll down buttons to go up and down. I could even use my mouse wheel to scroll up and down, as you can see right here. Microsoft also added um, mouse and mouse and touchpad settings. So if I type in mouse here, you'd see mouse and touchpad settings. Um, I could select my primary mouse button. Uh, if I'm a right-handed person, I could uh, use the left hand, uh, left right mouse button as my primary. If I'm a right-handed, left-handed person, I could use the right hand, my right mouse button as my primary. In this build, however, uh, the context button or right click doesn't work. Hopefully, this will be fixed in the future build. But you could see the setting here. So. Another thing I want to show you is that um, you can use the Windows key. In the typically, you would have to press the Start button on the taskbar to go back to the Start screen. But with this update, with this new build of Windows 10, you could use the Windows key on your keyboard to go back to the Start screen. So as you can see, I type in the Windows key on my keyboard, I get back to the Start screen. It's pretty sweet. Um, I could try another app, uh, the phone app, for example. There you go. Also, uh, you could use the escape key on your keyboard to get back to a page. So if I'm on display, if I press escape, rather than having to press the back button on the taskbar, I could press the escape button to go back a page. Now, let's see what keyboard improvements Microsoft made. So if I go to the Outlook Mail app, and so you could see, see the typing improvements or uh, typing experience with a physical keyboard. But before I do that, notice that as I hover over an item on the email or any other uh, buttons on the such as on the toolbar, you'll see the items being highlighted. That's because Windows Phone once again recognizes that I have a mouse and not a touch. I'm not using touch, but I'm using mouse. It will you, it will hover or highlight things I hover on. Uh, as even with the delete key, as I, as I hover over the delete, you see the. Yeah, you see the red coloring. Also, notice that I also have a tooltip. This is also exclusive to a mouse environment. As I hover over the item, you see a normal tooltip as you see on a PC. But now let's see the typing experience. Let me open a new email. Notice that Windows Phone recognizes that I have a keyboard attached and the, the, the on screen keyboard disappears. Let me type something. This is a sample text. I am Nasmus typing on a new pre actually pre release windows 10 for phone build that supports keyboard and mouse now uh, i want you to notice something uh, i could now use special keyboard combinations like shift and left, left and right arrow keys to select text, like so. I could even use the control key and the left arrow, left and right arrow keys to go back, to go back and forth one word at a time. I could combine shift and control to select one word at a time. I could press shift and delete key to delete control delete entire word at a time. I can press select all, control A, to select all and delete everything. Now, I'm going to discard this email. Let's go to um,
this is a sample text. I could press Ctrl A to select all, Ctrl X to cut the text, and I could press Ctrl V to paste the text. So the uh, I am going to paste text. I'll press Ctrl V, and as you can see, this is a sample text got pasted. Now I'm going to show you another page. I'm going to go to Wikipedia in dot Wikipedia dot org. Now, typically, uh, because Windows Phone recognized that I have a mouse enabled, uh, clicking and dragging does not scroll the page. Like on a PC, clicking and dragging will instead select text. Typically, if I go do the same thing in Internet Explorer, uh, this is a Windows 8, Windows Phone 8.1 app, so if I go to uh, in.wikipedia.org, Clicking and dragging will instead scroll the page. Uh, I have to use the touch touch modes to select text like this, as it's more uh, as it's uh, more typical with Windows 10 for phones. Actually, Windows 8.1, Phone 8.1, because Windows Phone 8.1 doesn't have a, a concept of a mouse. Also, notice that in Windows Phone 8.1 apps, as I hover over items, you don't see a hover op, op you don't see a hover highlight because again. Windows Phone 8.1 apps do not have a concept of a mouse. Uh, so clicking and dragging um, scrolls the page. If I control V something, actually this works in this case, but a normal, um, but in many, in here, I don't, I'm not sure if this will work. Yeah, it does work. So the text fields are universal, but, um, but uh, the, the apps themselves, as you could notice, there's also no scroll bar on the right because again, Windows Phone 8.1 apps do not recognize the mouse. Let me go back to the Project Spartan here, or Microsoft Edge. Again, I could select like on a PC. Also like a PC, I could use my keyboard's arrow key to go up and down. I could press the Home button to go to the top of the page, End button to go to the bottom of the page. I could press the Page Up to go one, one screen up. I could press page down to go one screen down. Again, in a Windows Phone 8.1 app, these keys do not work. I cannot press the arrow keys to scroll down a page because this concept doesn't work. So again, this is new to the new type of apps in Windows 10. So um, so that is it. That is it. Um, this is the using keyboard and a mouse with Windows 10 for phones. Um, also, let me show you something here. I have some text messages. I got a lot of text messages. Again, even in the messaging app, things that uh, you still have a scroll wheel because again, this is a universal app, a scroll bar here. So if I go to a random, uh, the, my car carrier sent this message to me, so I could type something here. Again, press Control A, close Escape to close the keyboard. I uh, have all this stuff. Block number, Escape to go back. Hover options go down and then use the Windows key to go back to the start screen very nice um, some things do not work however uh, the notification center has not been updated so I can't click and drag from the top to bring up the notification center so there's things I cannot do with the mouse so for example um, I do not have a touch screen here so there's no way for me to bring up the notification I have I don't have a keyboard shortcut or anything of that such so it's impossible for me to bring up the notification. It's also impossible for me to change the volume up, increase or decrease the volume because uh, I do not have a physical volume button. I'm running this on a virtual machine actually. Um, but yeah, so there you go. Windows 10 for phones with a keyboard and a mouse. If you have any questions, uh, I'll definitely answer them. Also, in the next video, I'll show you the beta version of the Windows Store. So stay tuned for the next video where I show you the beta version of Windows Store. I'm going to close it right now, actually. I'm going to show you the Windows Feed, uh, Windows Insider Hub, and yeah, the beta Windows Store, Windows Insider Hub, and some preview apps that are available in Windows 10 for phones in a build that has not yet been released to insiders. Uh, have a good day. Bye.